Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm on my way to Haines, Alaska, and I pulled over on this rest stop that I thought had a nice view. So let me show you this, and then I'm going to show you a few things in Haines. Maybe you can pronounce this. <laughs> they have this plaque telling about it. How do you like that? I'm right at the bottom of a big hill here. Mountains in the distance there. It's a pretty big lake. So, see you in a few minutes. In Haines. I found another nice view of the mountains here on the way to Haines and this river down here. And some more in the distance there. Across the road, not so bad either. How's that? Here's another interesting view along the way. It has this sign. I bet this river is overflowing in <laughs> the spring runoff. Pretty low today. Is going out there to inspect it. In my travels on Alaska, I've been surprised how much snow I see on the mountains facing the south. The mountains facing the north get much less sunlight, but it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. Hi, yep, they're going to be snow covered. Even in July. Nice view on this side, too. This is a bald eagle preserve. Whatever that entails. <laughs> right along the river bank here. This is the same river as the last stop, but it's a lot fuller here. I didn't see a sign saying which river this is, what the name is, but it runs right alongside the highway to Haines. This is the city of Haines, and Haines is a seaport and this is called the inland of Chilkoot something like that Chilkoot inland it's a long bay I'm going to be here for three days I just went to the ferry terminal and I bought my ticket to the ferry to Skagway to ferry not only me but also my motor home so I'm gonna go in turn on my computer and show you just what that means you might not be able to see this very well but the Alaska Highway comes down here Haines Junction and it goes over here to Whitehorse and then on down this way. Now Haines is right here and Skagway is right there. So because there's no road between Haines and Skagway to visit both of them driving all the way you would have to drive all the way down here which is 150 miles and then drive another 150 miles back up across here and then down here and then drive down to Skagway and back 
get back to the Alaska Highway. But another option is to take a ferry from Haines to Skagway. And that's what I'm going to do. Ferry myself and my motorhome. Which, by the way, costs about $170, which I think is pretty reasonable for a 40-foot vehicle. So that way, I'm driving down to Haines, or I already have, that's where I am right now, and then I take the ferry up to Skagway, which is not very far from there to there, and then from Skagway, drive up here and then back to the Alaska Highway. And not only do I not have to drive these roads twice, but it saves me from having to drive this much. And I've already driven across here before, so I don't need to see that again. So I'm saving driving from here to here, plus I'm doing this all in a round trip. I'm not having to duplicate any driving. So that's why I decided to do the ferry from Haines to Skagway. So if you ever go through Canada and Alaska, and you want to also see Haines and Skagway, then that's what I would recommend that you do. Good day, folks.